Can you do it in four years, or does it have to Chuck's be the usual going, five months? Chuck's going, I could have majored in magic, right? Uh, in good uh, health, doctors said to ease her pain, she would have to lose her legs, mm -hmm. but a Michigan judge didn't like that option. In fact, she went in search of a better option and hopes she's, what she's learned will be a lesson for all of us. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge joins us now with her story. Uh, well, Carmen and Devin, you know, Judge Lisa Gigliotti was just 20 years old when she was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. The disease causes the immune system to attack your own body, essentially eating away at the joints. Lisa's ankles became so painful she could barely walk. And that's when doctors proposed an extreme solution to ease her pain. I consulted a surgeon, and what he his treatment recommendation was was to amputate both of my legs from the knee down, and he said that would solve the problem of my ankle pain. It was a sacrifice Lisa Gigliotti wasn't ready to make. So this East Lansing judge took her case to Dr. Paul Fortin, an orthopedic surgeon at Beaumont Hospital. I explained to him that I didn't need to walk a lot or very fast or jog anymore or do anything like that, but I needed to be able to walk. And I think the fact that she had uh, both of her ankles involved and really had um, not one good leg to stand on, so to speak, really made it tough. Tough, but not impossible. In a complicated surgery, Dr. Fortin replaced both of Lisa's ankle joints. The verdict? Instead of being confined to a wheelchair, Lisa can walk without pain. It's so easy to get your hope just sucked out of you and taken and feel devastated like there isn't any hope for you. There are no more options for you, but there always is an option. Do a lot more research. Look for a doctor that you can partner with. Dr. Fortin credits Lisa's incredibly positive attitude. I think she's got just a, a wonderful outlook, uh, not just in terms of how it relates to her ankles, but just dealing with a disease process that's um, really a debilitating, horrible uh, illness. We all have courage within us, and all we need to do is go in and find that courage. And with that courage, we can really overcome any adversity we have. Now, just last Friday, Lisa had her elbow joint replaced as well. She's written a book about the many challenges that she's overcome, entitled Coraggio, Lessons for Living from an Italian Grandmother. And you can learn more about Lisa's inspiring story at clickondetroit.com slash health. And Coraggio what means an, courage in Italian. What an inspiration. And her yeah. attitude is so good, too. That's got to help. Yeah, oh, definitely. And that was part of the reason that I think Dr. Fortin took her on as a patient for this kind of surgery, was you have to have a great attitude to go through this, right, kind, of, right, this kind of treatment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. Thank you, Doc. Molto buono. Uh, you could have majored in magic. Did you? Well, I'm, I'm working on a master's <laughs> in that. 